this is the team that you guys have dominated over the years. You won at home without your arguably your best player. What, what was the performance in the uh, They just come out tonight and they made shots, made plays. And, um, they wanted them more than us. Me and Leaky got in early foul trouble. And, uh, just kind of messed up the, the rhythm of the game. Man, I don't know. Uh, frustrated. I'm sad. It's uh, hard to describe. This last four years meant to you here, Carolina. What'd you say? This last four years meant to you here, Carolina. It's the world to me. It's been the best four years of my life. Um, the opportunities I've had, the uh, friendships I've made, just being able to play with these guys and being able to play for coaches, uh, been a great journey, and it's, it's such a nice thing this way. How do you put in the words uh, what happened this season? Um, you know, um, it's, 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 I can say a lot, but, um, you know, for the people that really stuck with us and, and was really true to us, and I want to thank them, you know. There's a lot of people saying a lot of bad things about us individually as a team that they wouldn't say to our face. And, you know, I was disappointed to see that from our fans because, you know, as, as players, your fans, they, they're supposed to be the ones supporting you. And um, we know we play bad. We know we didn't have the season we wanted to have. But, you know, for the people that really stuck by us and was, it was true fans to us this year, I want to thank them. How hard was it uh, to say goodbye for the last time for everybody? I don't even want to think about it, honestly. It's, 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 it's really hard. Uh, I can't believe it ever done for me. Brandon, what was different tonight offensively when the last time you guys played them? Uh, we was just too stagnant on offense. Didn't get the ball inside as much as we wanted to. We getting the outside, getting the outside looks that we wanted to. And we just didn't knock down shots from the outside. They did a good job getting out on me, CK, and Cole. So, so anything else? That, is there anything different that they did tonight than last time? Uh, no, I don't think they did anything different. The ball went in more for them than it did for us tonight. Um, I just feel like uh, at the beginning of the year, we had a chance to be a really good team, but we just had so much adversity just through the injuries, the unfortunate situation that we've been through. So it's just kind of hard for us to play together and get a, get a feel for each other. Um, that's just the, the hardest part, just getting with all the injuries and stuff. But I'm just proud of the way guys fought throughout this whole year, not feeling their best self each and every game, just coming out here and giving their all. What do the guys need to do in the off season and moving to next year? Uh, to put this year away. First, first we got to get healthy. The guys got to get healthy. And just uh, just do the thing coach tells them to do. You know, coach is a great guy. He knows the game. And uh, just got to get, just all got to get on one accord. And I think we got some really good guys coming in next year that can help us. And uh, guys like Armando coming back and Leaky, that can take a big step forward next year. And, uh, I think they're going to be a really good team next year. Um, you know. A lot of times adversity hits and and just you gotta respond to it. And I just feel like uh, they'll be a really good team. What do you think you learned about yourself this season? Um, I learned a lot about myself, you know. Every game I played this year I felt like crap. I felt terrible, but I just motivated myself to come out here and play. Uh, I just tried my hardest, you know, I'm proud of the growth that I that I had over four years. A lot of people in my position probably would have transferred or gave up, but I just kind of stuck it out and waited my turn. And um, I'm grateful that I got the opportunity uh, to just be a part of this historic program and put this jersey on. It means a lot to me. Thank you. And you look at this roster, does it just blow your mind? How in the world could this team have lost 19 games? Is that just like how that happened? I mean, on paper, yes, but when you go through all those, go through all the injuries that we had, um, guys missing games, and never being able to play with each other for a whole season, I won't look at it like that. But like you said, if you look at the roster, yeah, but from an, another standpoint, the injuries are the first one. Is there any point, sorry if you already answered this, in relief that you know you can be done with this season? No, I never wanted this season to end. I never wanted to take this jersey off. Even if it was my last one when we won, I'd be happy, but I'd still be upset that it's over. And I have to move on, but uh, not at all.
difference Just them early two fouls that I got, you know. It's hard to play when you get two fouls like that early in the first half and kind of just change the way that I play the game. You know, I couldn't be as aggressive as I wanted to because I didn't want to pick up another silly foul. And it just, kind of, just messed up my rhythm for the game. But, you know, I can't complain about it. It's going to come with the game. But, uh, we just didn't make shots tonight. I turned the ball over too much. And I just didn't do a good job of leaving. Hey, Rob, this is obviously, sadly, last time for you, but where do you feel like the program is left for next year going forward? What, what do you think is possible for the guys who are still coming back and the guys that are going to be coming in? They're going to be a really good team. I, I think they got a chance to compete for a national title. You know, we got some good recruits coming in, good guys coming, I mean, good guys returning. Um, you know, they first we just all got to, guys got to get healthy. You know, these nagging injuries that carried over the whole season, got to take care of that and just, you know, just work hard, work our butts off. And I feel like this whole season we've uh, fought through adversity, so next year they'll know how to respond to adversity. And you guys not know Yeah, they just told us about it. Rob, if you had to describe this season in one word, what word would you use? No, I didn't Stressful. You know, just not having our whole team the whole year, just guys being injured, losing a lot of uh, the buzzer beaters on one point games, it, it was just a stressful season. You may have already answered this, but what were they doing that only, you can only get four shots off? I think just me picking up two fouls early just made it difficult for me to get in the rhythm. You know, I, I disagree with the fouls, but it's just what comes with the game. I didn't think there were, there were foul calls that should have been made, but you know, that's what comes with the game. I can't complain about it, but you know, it's just kind of hard to get in the rhythm when you just sit on the bench for so long and then you got two fouls. It kind of changed the way you play and I was just kind of overthinking, not just wanting to foul so much. So I just had to do it. Better. And what was the conversation about players and about the whole coronavirus thing? You know, I'm sure you heard about fans being disallowed here. It was crazy. Like, at first when they was talking about the coronavirus, I kind of like took it as a joke, but now it's like real serious, you know, it's like the NBA being suspended. Uh, them not having fans tomorrow uh, is something we got to take serious and be precautious about. Has it been a weird day for players and wondering yeah, I think how it's, things are going to shake out? I think it's really weird, you know, um, for the teams uh, that get to continue playing in this tournament, playing the NCAA tournament, I just kind of feel disappointed for them that they won't be able to have that full tournament experience playing in front of the fans because the fans are just as much as a part of the NCAA tournament as us. Uh, hey, Robin, in hindsight, look at the guy next to you, Garrison. Can you think back how much growth has he made and, and how proud of you? I'm so proud of that kid, man. You know, I've known Garrison since uh, since high school. And it's kind of funny, like, I wanted him to come here so bad. And I, I never, I think he knows this, but, like, he, he, I was kind of like his host on his visit, you know, just trying to get him to come here and cruel him hard. And I remember, uh, after he left his visit on his last day, I was like, man, you come to Carolina? He told me, yeah. And then, you know, next week he committed to Mississippi State. I was so mad at him that I went and I followed him on Twitter and Instagram. And like, I remember when he finally committed back and he came to school here, I just kind of like held a little grudge against him because he lied to me, but you know, he's like my best friend and I'm gonna miss playing with him. And you know, we laugh and joke all the time. And uh, I'm just miss playing with him. It's hard, you know. How much growth has he made in you know, next year? He's he's really primed to, I guess, be one of the front runners for the conference. Yeah, I, my goal for him next year is to, to um, win ACC Player of the Year, and I want him to just continue to uh, work on his game. Just, there's a lot of things that he can he can continue to develop, to to build on the things that he's already good at, and just I think you know continues going forward, developing the outside shot. He can be unstoppable. When fans remember you and what you brought to this university, what do you want them to think about? Um, I know it's kind of hard to think about that right now because I'm just it's still it's, fresh. Yeah, it's still fresh, but you know. I just hope they remember me for a guy that worked hard, uh, never gave up, kept fighting through adversity throughout this whole season, and we was just grateful for the opportunity. Thank you.